Hey SRF here and we are back with mission number five from Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. This is called Displace. I actually got that in one take for once. Yay for me. I wonder if I should cut out all this loading crap. Because it does eat up a bit of time, especially when the mission's already like almost 20 minutes. I think I mentioned in the last video, these were uh, pretty long missions. Not used to that so much from the uh, Hitman ones, they're usually a little bit quicker. But they are good missions. This is definitely a fun game. Alright, now I just did this last night, so let's see if I remember what I did. Oh yes, don't be too loud here, especially on that gravel. And now I actually get a little bit lucky here. Hope you didn't have some feedback there, but yeah, so we get a little bit lucky here as you'll see in a minute. That dude sees me and he comes back here looking for me, which is awesome because otherwise he patrols out here and we have to do a lot of messing around out there. So he spends a lot of time in here looking for me. <clears throat> Meanwhile, I'm up here doing work. So if you get lucky and that happens to you, awesome. Otherwise, you'll have to be a lot more patient out here picking this lock and uh, opening the grate because he is uh, I don't know he's got good ears on him that guy oh and here's a big tip don't just jump in walk around to this post here and you'll get the option to rappel down I did fall down here I didn't die I was damn close to dying but I didn't die It's much easier just to uh, rappel down. Then you don't have to worry about it. And another good tip right here is scan the briefcase from up here. There is another spot where it is also decent to, uh, to scan it, but it's nice and quick just to do it right here while you're waiting anyway. My horrible, awesome what hacking cost. skills. In the end, the thing they'll remember is that the National Guard is cheap. I'm dealing with taxpayers here. Try again, the dummy. I need is another fiscal accountability scandal. There we go. They made it easy for me that time. Now you'll be able to access the central All right. Now you can peek in here if you want. It's kind of a good idea because we need to see them leave. The dude from the Blue Man group right here. Alright, when Blue Man leaves, we can head out. Or in, I suppose. And sometimes I grab the ledge, sometimes I just fall in. I don't know if there's a trick for that or not. Now we want to go right across the hallway. Just ignore them. Sam, each of different divisions we're going to go in here and uh, hack one of the computers in here. For Grim. You want me to upload that to each division server? I would appreciate it. Since you asked so nice. Sometime today, there you go. Alright, one upload done. Now we're going to go out here and head towards this door. But tuck yourself over in the corner there because they're going to zap the window and make it nice and clear, which is pretty awesome. This was pretty cool tech. Um, 
I'm sure when this game was made. And we have the door code already here, so we go ahead and use that. Whoa, that was weird. Yeah, I've heard of this. It's called an electrochromic window. A small electric charge can change the opacity of microscopic And in we go. In the glass. Cool. I'm thinking that your OCP should be able to talk Tuck yourself in the corner here with this nice this potted plant. And this is also a decent spot if you want to scan the briefcase from here. Usually you can do it. And I should have fast forwarded this part because it takes forever. We get to listen to them talking about elevators and stairwells. Yep, I should have fast forwarded that. Stairs are cheaper than elevators, Tom. Why don't we have stairs as the fourth discipline of skyscraper construction? All right. Now we want to start creeping our way over. Head over to the elevator side. And this works out very well. The guy sees us. And he heads over to investigate. But if you tuck yourself in here by this railing, He'll walk right by. Hey buddy, see ya. And away we go. He does that every time, so don't even worry about it. Be pretty quiet in here also, because there is a dude sitting right there. And he hears that door close. And he gets all suspicious. Now you can go against the wall here like so, or you can take that pipe, if you can see it up above the computer there, you can shimmy along that pipe as well, but I'm kind of lazy and the controls on the Xbox aren't so great, so jumping up to that pipe has got me caught. So we're just going to take the sneaky mode. And, oh, I don't know how I managed to get in there, but... And again, you can take the pipe back, but uh, we're just going to go sneak behind him here. Ooh, I touched his butt there. See that? Pervert. <coughs> now we want to duck into this vent here. We seem to like vents. Oh, and again, like I mentioned in the last video, we do a lot of backtracking. But uh, when I played it again, there was actually another way to come back here. Um, I think it would be quicker. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, from the server room. Uh, I'll mention it when we get there. I think it's quicker, but uh, for this video purposes, we just backtrack, which is kind of boring, but now they're talking about video games. Prince of Persia, I think it was. This part can be kind of, mm, kind of picky. I get spotted here a lot, and they uh, they come looking for me, but it's easy to avoid them. And boom! A douchebag walks right out. <clears throat> I was lucky enough I was in the dark that he didn't see me. And then sometimes this dude up here will turn around and come after you, and sometimes he won't. I don't know. Seems a little uh, finicky on the amount of noise you're making. That was an easy hack. Alright, get in there. Upload another trace here. If we can manage to hack in, 
What are you doing? What are you doing? Probably going to get a drink. Alright, and again, into the van. head into the server room but we have to rappel down don't jump you will die wait for the uh, rappel or grab rope option to uh, pop up otherwise you'll fall down here and die I did that once also the first time I did this I sat here like an idiot and didn't actually use the computer. <clears throat> I went all the way back and realized, shit, I didn't complete my objective and had to come all the way back. That was real fun. Yay. So this time I was smart enough to actually use the computer. See, okay, now we don't have to come back up here. We can actually cut through another server room and work our way over to the elevators. Same elevator bank that we're heading to now, but uh, I didn't realize it until after I recorded this, so you're stuck with me backtracking. I'm pretty sure going out the other way uh, will, would be quicker and less chance of getting caught. Cause there's only two cards down there and it's pretty easy to, to avoid them in that other server room you just hop on top and you're uh, you're good to go but for uh, like I said I already recorded this so and it is pretty easy to backtrack here Nobody really gets in our way. And we know the route. <laughs> Just seems like it takes a long time to get back to the elevator. Alright, over here. We are waiting for the guard because he's now patrolling and of course our timing kind of sucks because he's at the other end of the corridor and we have to wait and wait and I should have fast forwarded this for you guys and I will make a point to fast forward the slow portions in the next video and we're actually halfway through, I think. I think there's only 10 missions in this. So we are halfway through. And then, what am I going to play, I think? I may try... I bought a Metal Gear Solid triple pack or something. I might try that one. I haven't played any of those games, so it should be interesting. But we'll see. All right, so now he's heading away, and we're just going to follow him over here to the elevator. And you shouldn't have a problem here being quick enough. There is a guard below as well, but uh, he, he doesn't seem to look up. Which is good. And we're heading up. Okay, now here, we just want to take a short stop over here, although it's not that short. 
because we want to listen to these guys for the door code. I suppose you guys could just use the door code that I find here and save you guys a little bit of time listening to these guys. Should still work. Store code, yeah. You could just hack the door, I suppose, but... My hacking skills are not the best. This part here actually took me a while to figure out. Um, not that it was difficult, just that I couldn't figure out the friggin' controls to zoom in. He shows you flashing left to zoom in, so I started pushing my left thumbstick forward and I walked into the middle of the hallway and the dude would come around with the flashlight and he would see me and shoot me. On my third attempt I figured out that you have to push the thumbstick in and it would zoom in enough to record and keep my ass back in here in the corner here beside the chair and he'll just walk right by us. So there's a tip for you, if you ever play on the Xbox, or probably PlayStation, as well. Yeah, stick your butt along this wall here and that dude will walk right past us. We're almost done actually. Keep a little quiet here, now we're watching for that camera when it uh, hands to the left, we can hightail it. Right over here, and now we have the door code already. Alright, there you go. In we go. Door hit my ass on the way in. Now we have to hack this one. Wow, made it easy for me. They must know uh, that I'm a retard at this. <laughs> and door hit me on the ass again. Jeez, does not want me in here. This one, luckily, we don't have to hack it. We also get the key code for the fire exit door, which is our escape route. Now here, you can actually hear the guard, his footsteps, but we're going to peek under just to make sure he's walking away from us. And remember the camera. Door hitting me again. Alright, wait for the camera to start panning the other way and go. Careful when you get down here. Wanna sorta of keep it a little quiet. And this is our escape route right here. And we already uh, have the code. You can hack it if you want, obviously, but. Boom, there we go. Alright, that is mission number five from Splinter Cell Chaos Theory called, what was it, Displace. Alright, that's it, another 100%. Alright, thanks for watching. See you next time.